Hello, Bart Larmouth here again to talk to you a little bit about care and maintenance of the Ross line of reels. Now, the majority of our reels are all self-lubricating. What that means for you, you don't need to add anything additional. No gun oil, no WD-40, anything of that nature. In fact, doing so can actually damage your reel. Drag systems are based on friction, and if you add a lubricant, it's going to remove that friction, your drag's going to go away. First reel we want to talk about is the Cimarron 2. If you look inside the spool, you see we have a little bronze bushing in here that actually is impregnated with a silicone that extrudes over time. So what happens is that gets onto the stainless steel spindle that we have and lubricates itself. So you never need to do anything there. What will happen over time, especially if you fish a lot, dust and microscopic particles can stick to this a little bit. What we recommend for cleaning is a very simple product. It's called Windex. Go ahead and get some Windex, spray this down, wipe it off with a paper towel or a cloth, and then on the spool side, you can squirt it right down in there. Take a Q-tip is what I find best. Rub it around. Put it back together. If you have any squeaks or squawks, that should instantly remove them. And it also is safe for the drag. It will evaporate everything off. After you do that, I highly recommend letting it drain with the, letting it dry, pardon me, with the frame side up and the spool side up. Another method that most folks use, it still works well, warm soapy water. You can take, and we always recommend taking the reel apart, putting it in the water, swishing it around, and then again, always let it dry this direction. But for the quick fix, Windex is the way to go. That works perfectly well on the Cimarron 2, as well as the Animus, which sports the same drag system. It also is true for the Evolution LT. See our little bronze bushing in there as well. As well as the Colorado LT. The Colorado LT is our exception to the rule on lubrication because under this clicker cover, we do put a little bit of waterproof grease. It'll tend to last years, in all honesty, but if you do feel you need to put some on there, it's very simple. You take this guy off. We highly recommend synthetic. Mobile One's really good. Put just a little bit in there to keep those metal pieces from rubbing too much, and then put it back on. Nice and straightforward. If you do have a squeak again, though, we do have the bronze bushing in here and the stainless interface, so that's the easiest way to clean it. The Evolution R is truly no maintenance. The spindle and everything is housed is completely sealed, so you should really have never have a problem with any kind of squeaking or any kind of buildup. Everything will be on the exterior of the reel that you're dealing with. And again, just nice warm soapy water works very well. If you're in a salty environment, be it the ocean, be it Pyramid Lake, we highly recommend going to the grocery store and buying a gallon of distilled water when you're done with your trip. Put the distilled water in a bucket, take your reel apart, set it in there, and again, we always want this side up and this side up. Swirl it around and let it soak. Let it soak for 24 hours, take it out, rinse it, let it air dry. What happens with distilled water versus tap water is it will actually pull a lot of those minerals out of the inner workings of the reel, off of the aluminum, whereas your tap water already has minerals in it that might bind, that might grab on, and you never know. Especially you folks in the Northeast, be very careful with that. That water is really hard. So again, you're done with your trip, go buy a gallon distilled water. It costs a dollar at your local grocery store. And that pretty much sums it up. We try to make these as low maintenance as possible. If you ever have any maintenance concerns, please feel free to visit us on the website or call us right here at the factory. We're always glad to help.